Okay, good afternoon, everybody. <clears throat> or good morning, whatever it is for you. Could be evening as well, I suppose, if you are overseas. And welcome to the stream. Welcome to... Sunday. And you may be saying to yourself, a few people actually last night who haven't been really paying attention to this week. Uh tweeted me and said, Phil, it's Sunday and you're not asking us what characters to play in Ultra Street Fighter 4 and what's going on because, you, you know, Street Fighter 4, you've been playing every Sunday for the past couple of months since you uh, moved to Washington State. And uh, the answer to that is, well, no Street Fighter this week. This week we are taking a, a, uh, uh, a break from it just for a week, just for one week. Don't worry. It's not going anywhere. I love Street Fighter, as you guys know. And I very much enjoyed over these past several months, well, two months really, that I've lived in Washington playing Street Fighter 4 every weekend, okay? So don't think that, oh no, Phil's, you know, Phil's now veering off the path and that's it. He's not going to be playing Street Fighter anymore. That is very much not the case. Uh, it's just that this week, we had so many new releases this week that there was just not enough time for me to really give each one sufficient time, uh, especially considering that this week was uh, my girlfriend Leanna's birthday, which we celebrated out in Seattle uh, on Friday, which really I haven't even had a chance to really talk about yet. Uh, we had a ton of fun uh, in the city doing various different things. And it's funny how stuff comes together uh, just kind of spur of the moment too. But... Uh, but yeah, uh, we you know that we we already had a full day off, which I almost never do. As you guys have seen since I've moved to Washington, it's not like I take a full day off almost ever. You know, most people you've got a work schedule where you work maybe five days a week, something like that. Now some people have more, admittedly, but the average work schedule is around five days a week. I work every day. There's not a day of the week that I'm not creating new videos, streaming, thinking of, and or planning. Uh, new projects, uploading stuff, regardless of if I'm streaming or not. Uh, I pretty much work every day, even holidays. So for me, it was very out of the ordinary to take off a day completely and say I'm not going to be doing any live streaming at all. And I did do that on Friday for, for my girlfriend. And because of that, uh, you know, I knew with the five new releases that came out this week, there wasn't going to be enough time to really handle them all. So I decided this week there will be no... Uh, absolutely no Street Fighter on Sunday because I just need to continuously be uh, putting out content for you guys. And of course, then you see the cynical jerks in the stream chat. This is not work. What you do is not work. Yes, of course, because I'm not using a jackhammer to break concrete or because I'm not sitting in an office from 9 to 5 every day, which I did for quite a long time. I guess this isn't considered work, regardless of the fact that most people who have a 9 to 5 job is just that, 9 to 5, where with me I completely changed my life and sleep schedule in order to be able to do this for an international audience. The fact that I'm streaming about 6 hours a day, uploading about 3 to 4 hours a day, constantly monitoring my work, constantly monitoring social media, Unlike people who have a 9 to 5 job who just go ni their 9 to 5 and then can go home and relax, I'm always connected and always on the move. Yes, what I do is not work, whatever you say. <clears throat> it's seriously, seriously, when people say stuff like that, it just oozes, oozes jealousy. I know. Listen, I know I'm lucky. I know that I'm one of the very lucky few people who gets to do what he loves as a job, right? And I'm not trying to be a jerk about it, but when people say, nah, you know, stupid stuff like that, that's really meant to insult, uh, no, this is a job. This is work. This is entertainment. This is value, or else people wouldn't watch it, right? You wouldn't be here if you weren't enjoying what you're going to see. And that's the bottom line. So as long as entertainment remains a business, this will be work for me, right? So, anyway, as I was saying, you know, taking that day off, I knew that uh, I knew that there was going to be issues keeping up with all of the stuff this week, and uh, 
So I decided that I was not going to be playing Street Fighter today, and instead, we'd be checking out a game that I only got to play once, right? I've only got to play Madden on release day, which was Tuesday. Since then, we've had new release after new release. And, I don't know, it, it seems like the opinions on Madden are pretty split. Okay? It seems like some people are like, wow, the graphics are actually really good. Uh, the gameplay seems to have been significantly improved this year. Madden seems like they didn't just dial it in. In 20, uh, you know, the 15 or whatever the hell you want to call it. <clears throat> and, uh, you know, great, you know, this, this is a good year for Madden. On the flip side of that... There seem to be a huge, huge group of people who are like, oh, the graphics are terrible, they don't look next-gen, this looks exactly the same as every other Madden, and I'm like, I'm confused because, see, for me, for me, um, for me, it's weird, weird because I haven't played Madden since Madden 11. As I said, it's been four years since I played the last Madden, right? And I enjoyed Madden 11, but I thought that it was incredibly unbalanced. I thought that there were some El Cheapo plays, game bugs, and things that were absolutely stupid in the game. And uh, ultimately, I said it's really not a game you have to play unless you're a huge fan of football. American football, that is. Excuse me. However, with this one, I'm actually enjoying it. I actually was playing, you know, first of all, I'm in the career mode. And I'm enjoying it, and I'm enjoying being the quarterback and learning how to read the plays and do everything. And it's funny, because if you look on YouTube, it's a very telling thing. And if you were on the stream on Tuesday, it was also a very telling thing. So basically, for the first half of everything that I did, on the stream I had 1,200 viewers, which is huge for a gameplay stream of anything that's not League of Legends or something. You know what I mean? Um, on YouTube, again, the first few videos, pretty decent views. And it seems like after, like, the, the, the second game that I played, that was it. People were like, well, that's it. And they stopped watching. And it's like, well, what do you want? It's the same as, you know, uh, in previous iterations with some changes in better graphics. Like, what were you expecting when it comes to Madden is my question. I don't, I don't get it, you know. I liked it uh, in 2011. Not tw was it 2011? No, Madden 11 came out in 2010. So, damn, that was a long time ago. So, you know, four years ago when I played Madden, uh, I didn't play career mode. I actually played, uh, I believe it was just like a standard season mode where I played a team. So I was playing all positions. I was being quarterback. I was being the running back. I was being defense, everything. <clears throat> and uh, I raged a lot, and people seemed to like it. This time around, people wanted me to play career mode, so I did. And I said, well, if I want to be in on every play, I pretty much have to be the quarterback, right? Or else we're going to have entire sections of a game where I might not even be playing, or if I'm playing, I may not even get the ball or do anything interesting. So, that's what I did. I did what people requested, and it seems like people think it's boring. <clears throat> so now, I guess what my question is, uh, to everyone, is this simple. I want to play Madden today on the first stream. I am playing Madden today on my first stream. But what do people want to see? Should I continue with the career mode, or people deem that just boring and they want to see something else? Do you want to see me just jump into some kind of a simulated season where I play the team and I play all the positions, you know, like I did in, 20, in uh, 2010? Uh, what do you want? Because I obviously want to give you what you want. To me, I don't mind either. Like, I don't mind playing either version of the game. I think that the career is good, but I would think that that would probably be good too. <clears throat> And uh, I want to play what you want to see. You know what I mean? Not that I'm, I'm playing the game and people are like, wow, you know, this is incredibly boring. I wish Phil did something else. That's, that's the opposite of what my goal is. My goal is to entertain you, not to just be playing the game for the sake of playing the game. Or else why even stream it? You know what I mean? A lot of people are saying multiplayer online. That's completely worthless. You understand if I play multiplayer online, I'm going to get just destroyed because I don't know how to play. You know what I mean? I at least have to play some kind of a, a, a single player with the whole team before I can attempt multiplayer. Someone says to put the game on pro if, and not rookie, even though uh, it is on pro. Which you would know if you actually watched the videos from Tuesday because it sh I showed you uh, I showed you that I picked that. <clears throat> I 
Everyone's saying something different. Some are saying ultimate team. Some are saying franchise mode. And I, of course, I don't know the difference between any of these modes. So I don't know what's the better option here. Uh, you know, this is the first time I've played the game in four years. So I don't know much about it anymore. Some people are saying Ultimate Team. Maybe I could try Ultimate Team today, even though I know nothing about it. All I know is that there's cards. That's all I know is that there's cards. And I did get some cards. I got some cards when I pre-ordered the game through GameStop. I got a bonus code. So I don't even know if those cards helped me or what. Make your own team and control them in Ultimate Team, some people are saying. Whew. Excuse me, everyone. I am a little bit tired today. I don't know what it is. Uh, I'm pretty groggy. I don't know what happened. I, it's not like I went to sleep late or anything. I just woke up and I just felt real groggy. You know when you get those days... When it's like you just really don't feel like getting out of bed for whatever reason. Like you're just like, oh, I just want to lay here. And I want to. And of course, it's tougher now that I live with my girlfriend because, of course, we're like laying together and it's like, oh, so comfy and warm in bed. Don't want to get out. Don't want. <laughs> don't want to move. It's just so comfortable. And then it's like, well, I gotta get up. I gotta be an adult about this. Can't just be in bed all day. You know. It's one of those days. So I'm. I'm still trying to wake up here. Ah, someone says, uh, Chocolate Rampage in the stream chat says, uh, he felt that way today as well. Maybe it's the, the weather. It definitely could be because the weather here in, in Washington has shifted. In the past couple of days, we've gone from the hot and, and, and in fact, humid, which they never have humidity here, but they had it this summer. Uh, hot, humid summer to we are officially hitting the fall style weather. Yesterday, we had the first major rain since I've lived here. No lie, it was actually raining all day. Uh, and it's in the 70s. Right now, it's probably low 70s, I would think. So, yeah, so it's actually incredibly comfortable. I'm in the office right now. No fans on at all. Window is, is open, so we get some circulation in here. But it is beautiful. And this is the kind of weather that I'm hoping we have while I'm working for the majority of time here in Washington. Because this is perfect in this office. It's great. It's comfortable. It's not stuffy at all. And I love it. But at the same time, I can't wake up. <laughs> So, for those of you who are just joining us, because I see uh, a lot of people are joining us on the stream, uh, I'm trying to decide what mode to play in Madden 15 today, because back on Tuesday when I did play the game at first, I played career mode, and most people, the majority consensus is that career mode is boring. Uh, that after the first couple games, people don't want to see me just simulate being the quarterback anymore, they want to see something different. So I'm debating trying out the other modes of the game. Like a lot of people are suggesting ultimate team. Some people are saying try to be the owner because when you're the owner, you play every position, which doesn't make any sense to me. You know, I don't know, but I'm trying to figure this out. One thing I do want to give a shout out to, uh, well, not really a shout out, but a plug, a gratuitous plug to is... My Professor Layton versus Phoenix Wright playthrough, which I started yesterday and continues tomorrow and all this week. Uh, my very first Nintendo 3DS playthrough that I'm going to be doing from start to finish. And it is amazingly good. Like, I was actually blown away by the quality. Like, the, the, the freaking music was amazing. The plot is quirky and interesting. It's got the gameplay from both games, uh, franchises, mashed in well. Uh, 
Basically, the game is also incredibly long and has a ton of content. And what I mean by that is yesterday I played for four hours. Four hours on stream, and guess what? We just beat the prologue. We didn't even get into the meat of the game. It was just the prologue was four hours. So most people are saying that the game is actually 25 to 30 hours long, which I'm like, holy fucking shit, are you serious? Like, that's going to take me weeks to beat. Pretty crazy. So, I want to say, check it out. It is live on my YouTube channel, DSP Gaming. Six new videos uploaded this morning as well. So, what you see there is about an 18-part playthrough. That is the prologue, and that is as far as I've gotten. It will continue tomorrow on stream, and of course, all this week on stream, and on my YouTube channel, DSP Gaming. People who've watched it, the people who've watched it on stream and on YouTube are saying it's one of the best playthroughs this year. It's one of the best playthroughs I've ever done and that it's a throwback to my classic content that I used to do because I'm enjoying the game so much that I'm really putting a lot of effort into the voice acting. I am voice acting all the characters that when they're not having uh, voices in the cutscenes. And... Uh, I am definitely loving the game. I hope that you will, just, first of all, watch it yourself. And then if you like it, and this is very important, I said this yesterday at the end of the stream, and I'll say it again today on pre-stream, to spread the word. Because unlike lots and lots of other YouTubers, unlike lots of other streamers, I don't have any kind of a network. I don't have any kind of a group of gamers that I game with who either constantly talking about each other and promoting each other. All right, I don't have that support, and I never have. I've always been the guy who's kind of by himself, right? And for me, it's tough because, you know, being alone and not really having that support of, oh, you know, check out Phil's stuff because he's doing this today and blah, blah, blah. It's just me self-promotion, and, it's, you know, it gets tiring to hear me talk about myself, I know. Uh, and at the same time, as you guys, I'm sure know, uh, there are a large group of people who don't like me on the Internet, Primarily because I am a vocal and outspoken person. And there's a bunch of whiny, self-entitled brats on the internet who think that people who put out content should just kiss their asses. Uh, instead of speaking truth and telling things like it is. Right? And they think that there's this one particular way to put out entertaining content. Uh, and that any other way is unacceptable. And keep in mind that I was around before most of the people who they like to watch. And... You know, I pretty much inspired a lot of people to do gameplay on the internet to begin with. Uh, I was one of the, the first people to, to actually start making a living doing it. And that's what caused this bandwagon attempt of everyone to try to jump onto the bandwagon and make a living on YouTube doing gameplay. So, I love this huge anti-DSP anti negativity movement against me when really I'm one of the major reasons why there's gameplay on YouTube to begin with that makes money. But I just, I digress. I'm not saying that... Uh, I'm not trying to brag, and I'm not saying that. I'm just saying that it's fact. I was around for a long time, yet people think that I'm like the worst person or something. It's kind of silly. Because when I do something like Layton versus Right, I put in a ton of work, right? That's the other thing. Phil's lazy because he doesn't edit his videos. Yeah, but, you know, I did four hours of fucking voice acting yesterday and really put in a lot of effort, and the people who watched it loved it. So I need your help. I need you guys. If you do watch stuff and you do like it, uh, to spread the word. Wow, Phil just did a great playthrough. He's in the middle of a great game. you got to check it out. you know. And I appreciate that because that's always how I've gotten my popularity is word of mouth. It wasn't promotion. It wasn't someone advertising me. Other, you know, other big YouTubers teaming up with me. It was never that. It was always people just talking, right? It was always people just talking. So... That's what I appreciate. If you guys can spread the word about good content, like the Layton versus uh, Phoenix Wright playthrough, so that uh, you know more people can enjoy it. And you know, there's going to be lots more stuff coming up in the coming weeks. We got Sims 4 this week. Next week we got Destiny, and I believe it's is it NHL? I think it is. Let me look. Yeah, Destiny NHL. We're gonna have a new Naruto game this this month. FIFA. Hyrule Warriors at the end of this month, Forza Horizon, and uh, Shadows of Middle Earth. There's a lot of stuff coming out this month. It's pretty much a jam-packed month, right? And, uh...
It's going to be a lot of content. It's going to be a lot to tackle already. This this week, I'll be honest, I felt the pressure. I was pretty pre under pressure to try to figure out how I was going to do stuff and what order I was going to do it and stuff like that. And, uh, you know, I juggled as much as I could. I juggled around the content. Uh, and I think that I did a pretty good job. I did finish the infamous First Light DLC. I did do the Dark Souls 2 DLC in two sittings, which surprised me. I didn't think I was going to beat it that fast, but I did. Uh, I, you know, I started uh, Phoenix Wright. And, of course, definitely not the least of this week. In fact, it's the most popular thing I did this week by far. The Walking Dead uh, Season 2 Finale, which had some pretty interesting ending choices there. Uh... You know, and a lot of people uh, said that, oh, you got the worst ending. Well, I, I told you, but if, as, when I went into it, I told you the first thing I said is that I'm going to keep take my choices as that is my canon ending for the season two. I've, I went in with the understanding that there was more than one ending and that there's probably better endings than, than, than other ones. And I said, I don't care. I'm going to make my choices based off of my own morality, right? And then I'm going to live with them. So if I get a horrible ending, I get a horrible ending. And I, I, quite honestly, I don't think the ending that I got was horrible. I just think it wasn't a, a storybook happy ending, which quite honestly, in the world of The Walking Dead, you probably would never get. So if there was a nicer ending, I think that it probably wasn't very realistic, and they put it in there because there were people who were just attached to the characters for a long time rather than actually being realistic to the series, right? So, there you have it. Lots of talk about what I did this week, I know. I'm blabbing. I'm excited for later today as well, because I'm going to do the weekend preview, where I'll explain how I'm going to cover this week. Uh, this week's going to be good with the return of uh, Hate Live after a long hiatus. Uh, and also, you know, a new game. I'm going to explain how I'm going to be covering that, etc. And uh, But after Hate Live tonight, because Hate Live, you know, takes, what, a half an hour, we're going to be doing a mini-stream of Tomodachi Life. And it's actually going to be the very first time that I start a weekly visit to Tomodachi Life. And I hope that people will check it out because Tomodachi Life is incredibly funny. And, uh, and you know, people who watched the videos of Tomodachi Life that I did last week, uh, again, loved it. It's the people who watch it love it. Problem is that not everyone watches it. I, you know, I play The Walking Dead. Oh my God, The Walking Dead's great. Phil's played it since the beginning. It's a great series. We're gonna watch that. I do something different, like Tomodachi Life. Eh, it looks like a kitty game, and then they don't watch it, and then they miss out because one of the parts actually has been nominated by many, many people as my funniest moment of the year because of the shit that happened, and it was just out of control. And the game is like that. It's quirky. It's funny. It's weird. Very weird. But it's entertaining as well. So I hope you'll be here after the weekend preview to check that out. It's going to be pretty good. Or if, if you miss it, you know, those videos will also uh, be uploaded to my YouTube channel, DSP Gaming, later tonight as well. So it's a pretty jam-packed time right now with so much going on. And I'm doing my best to juggle it. I mean, already I'm juggling Madden, uh, Layton vs. Right, and I got Tales of Exilia 2 that I'm juggling along with all the other content this month. So it's going to be great. It's going to be fun. All right, everybody. Well, I guess we're going to get started. Uh, I don't think I'm going to be doing career mode in Madden. After his pre-stream and talking with you guys on the stream, I really don't think that it's worth it. I think that we should do a different mode because at this point seem, people seem to be turned off by career mode. I'm just trying to figure out what exactly I should do. Uh, and I'm thinking that maybe it should be either Ultimate Team or just playing as the whole team and playing a few games like that. I, you know, I don't even know what else what else to do with the game because it is what it is. It's, foo it's American football. <laughs> And everyone, I already said, people on play online, play online. I'm not going to play online. I haven't even played the game outside of quarterback yet. Why would I play online? 
Online play is meant to be a matchup against people in a competitive setting when you know what you're doing. I haven't even played the game as the whole team yet. Why would I go online? No. That makes no sense. Oh, all right, everyone. Well, let's end this pre-stream at the, at the least and get into the game and start looking at the modes and get started. Thanks for being here. And it's time to end the pre-stream.